I wear the mask in order to protect this city. But when faced with a new breed of criminals calling themselves the Pact, the direct approach was met with disaster. I had to don a different mask. As Bruce Wayne, I infiltrated their ranks. The plan was to get in, set the trap, and get out. But the plan failed. Now they're one step closer to their goal. And all I have are questions. What is the pact really after? Why steal Riddler's body? Friend or foe? Nice place you got here. Did it come with the vermin? Or did you add that yourselves? It's a little run down, but the rent is right. This everyone? Riddler said you had a luchador in the mix. Fane? Oh, he came down with the case of the left behinds. Oops. <laughs> we are the entirety of our cabal at the moment. Oh, this gentleman was someone we picked up after Riddler's departure. Bruce Wayne. Bruce, was it? Charmed. Be gentle. This is Mr. Wayne's first foray into the field of felonry. Enchanté. Oh, I didn't know this party was so formal. You got the toy we talked about, beautiful? Get the Lady Sparkly's out of the safe, John. She ain't doing this out of the goodness of her heart like the rest of us. Brucey, be a doll and give Kitty a hand. I ain't touching that popsicle. I got some thinking to do. Well, let's get to... What are we doing? Well, we're going to... extricate the body. Riddler built a secret back door into the security system of his old employer. I need to scan his eyes and then create a retinal key for them. Then I'll use the key to make goggles, and we can open whatever doors he could. Help me lift. This wasn't the original plan. He was supposed to be alive, but... Things change. Get his head in a good position. That's far enough. Dig the plates under his lids. Press the button and scan away. Ugh, that's gross. What the hell did they do to him? And what's with the refrigerator coffin? Why would the agency transport him like this? This doesn't add up, Bruce. Bruce, I'm sorry about Lucius. I'm guessing it wasn't a gas leak or whatever the news said. You're right. Riddler killed him. But it was meant for me. Damn it, Bruce. I'm... This isn't all on you. On to the next. I didn't know what I'd be walking into with this group, but I certainly didn't expect it to involve you. And I know you're no stranger to peril, but you shouldn't be here. So, what gives? Well, it shouldn't be that much of a shock. My father was a crime lord. Apples and trees and all. Glad to know you've grown more comfortable with lying since we last met. You're not the only one with questions. One question. Make it fast. Did you... Did you come back for me? Yes, Bruce. Because the world revolves around you. But, you know... I suppose there are worse people to run into. You done? His peepers never looked so good. John, pay the lady. Don't spend them all in one place. You get the rest when we're inside. That wasn't the deal I made with Riddler. Take it up with him. I'm not disposed! 
closed off so easily! You overstepped when you left him. And now it's time to pay the price. No. Oh, this one's actually got some brains. Everyone else better be smart, too. You! Ah, ah, ah. You are a means to an end. When this is over, did it occur to any one of you people that the job we just pulled went sideways a little too quick? I think they knew we were coming, because a little rat told them. They was right to beat up his guy before we left to hit the convoy. He just beat up the wrong one. Since he couldn't deliver, I'm taking over the case. And I'm not gonna let whoever it is stop me from getting what I want. This leak... It nearly caused the demise of Gotham's favorite luchador. So now, no one moves, no one breathes without my say-so. Cause I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. And whoever it is, is gonna find their insides suddenly al fresco. That make you nervous, Bruce? What do you have to say? Don't threaten me. Careful, Bruce. You're valuable, but not irreplaceable. Remember that. Stop way! Excuse me, peanut gallery? You got something to say? Wayne pulled his own out there. Saw it with my own two eyes. And I ain't gonna let a good effort go unnoticed. Let's get back to work! If anyone else has any issues with the New World Order, my door is always open. Hmm. <laughs> Lead us to our prize, and all will be forgiven. Wayne! Come here a second. That was dangerous. Now you're on her radar. Hey, we chose a dangerous line of work. Hiya, Bruce. Guess you're clear. For now. Because apparently you're so capable. I got an errand for you. I know just about everything about Riddler's plan. But he kept one card close to his chest. The location of the job took the secret to his grave. Now I got his laptop, but look at this, and keep your yap shut. Can't let any of these mooks sense weakness. It's encrypted! It's like he knew not to trust any of us. <laughs> Go figure. Maybe you should call IT. I don't know whether to laugh, or hit you so hard your eyeballs fall out. Riddler had a beef with his former employers, who were cooking up some very dangerous and super fun stuff at a black site lab somewhere here in Gotham. And what is it we're after, this super fun stuff? You ask a lot of questions, you know that? I've been able to piece together most of his plan, except where the black site is. You're gonna find the location. And when you do... Maybe you'll get a treat. A sweet, delicious little treat. Sounds enticing. I like treats. Then get on out of here and earn it. See, I ain't letting this laptop out of my sight until I clear up this mole problem. So, I want you to head over to Riddler's place and do some digging. I might need some help. That place is full of death traps. Take John with you. Just don't get him hurt. That's my job. Road trip? With Bruce? I mean... Actually, I was thinking Catwoman. After all, she knew him. Hmm. Good points. Take a two. I'll grab some snacks. <laughs> What's that guy's story? Cat lady, are you more of a beef jerky or trumpet-shaped corn bites girl? 
There's never a dull moment with John around. Why do I get the feeling that's not a good thing? <laughs> Who's ready to hit the road? Who are you gonna tell if you see anything that ain't on the up and up? You, Harley. But don't worry, Bruce is my best friend. He'd never betray me. Oh, sweet, innocent pudding. Friends have the easiest access to stab you in the back. Now get out of here. I call shotgun. I want that black site location. I can't believe this is where he decided to set up shop. It wasn't like him to slum it. I always thought the abandoned water tower was an odd choice. I mean, the mold risk alone. It's not the abode of a man who asked me to steal a Renoir, that's for sure. We should check the traps. Who knows what Riddler did to this place? On it. Come on, John. Glad you answered. We need to talk. Listen about the convoy. We couldn't get to you safely. The EMP blast knocked out my ability to communicate with my field agents. I'm sorry. It obviously wasn't supposed to go down like that. So, anyway, you being inside, it's our best hope. Well, now they have Riddler's body. It was cryogenically frozen by the agency. Bruce, this was a 60-year-old man who went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Batman. I have some very interested researchers who wanted to see what kept him ticking. Wait, wait. Uh, I got the punchline wrong. Uh, let me start. It's fine, John. Bruce, are so you there? Doc, I'll have what she's having. <laughs> <laughs> It was a good thing we searched around. I noticed an old security camera and deactivated it. No telling what will come across inside. Okay, let's find a way in. Just have to get through these boards. Don't worry. I brought my key. Let me give it a shot. Uh, okay. Share and share alike is what I always say. Guilty is charged. Want to explain what you're doing out here? This isn't exactly the heights. Uh, this isn't what it looks like. It looks like you're trying to break into a crime scene. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Detective Bullock. Detective Bullock, right. Uh, look, there's actually a very good reason for all of this. Stay right there, Jerkwad. I'm calling this in. I've been asked to report any suspicious activity around here, and you're acting suspicious. Listen to me, you do that, and you'll be ending your career. I'll take my chances. Bruce freaking Wayne. 
Unbelievable. Wouldn't even be working tonight if I didn't need the extra dough. But maybe this will make me look good with the boss. Wow, you have dynamite in those fists, Bruce? <laughs> that was wonderful! Can we wake him up so Bruce can do that again? No, John. Let's go. He won't be out for long. Come on, let's get moving. Like you knew a very different Riddler than the one I met. I wish he'd never come back to Gotham. Me too. There's hope for everyone. I don't think any of us are beyond reach. <laughs> I know we've just met, but somehow I knew you'd say that. What? You knew him best? Where do you think he'd keep any info on what we're after? Well, not to state the obvious, but... It's probably behind a riddle or a puzzle somewhere. Oh, I call the downstairs bedroom! <laughs> Careful, John. This place is probably a death trap. Follow him, Bruce. I don't want John's curiosity to get us killed. I'm getting really tempted to touch something! <laughs> It's a wonderful way to lose your hand. Well, you know what they say. Curiosity killed the cat. There's something under here. Some kind of platform. Handcart? Wonder what he was moving. So why are you really here? I said I'd tell you when we're alone. We're not. I'll tell you later. How'd you and Riddler first meet? You know I do a lot of... freelance work. Let me guess, Riddler wanted a painting from the Louvre? <laughs> Without bragging too much, it was an easy job. Huh. After all, I'd already robbed the place twice. He became a valuable contact when money was tight. Ha 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 ha! 
<laughs> Welcome to the Maelstrom. Deeper and deeper you go. This is the vortex of life, pulling you down into its depths. You work, you sleep, you die. At all times, one foot in the grave until the second inevitably follows. You have to work hard and sleep hard in order to earn your way six feet under. What did I tell you? I suppose those are our clues to whatever Riddler is hiding in here. Riddler's bed couldn't look less comfortable if he tried. A pair of Riddler's shoes. He didn't exactly have great fashion sense. Well, he did say something about a foot. I take you by night, by day take you back. None suffer to have me, but do from my lack. <laughs> that sounds positive. understand my mind you must first walk a mile in my well, certainly you know the rest be careful what you said on those this is my city this is my plan nobody will interfere food. 
And lots of it. We can't all get lobster thermidor on a whim. like you've got both feet in the grave. You hear that? It's like you're standing on an elevator. I bet whatever we're looking for is down there. Maybe someone should stay up here. Keep watch. Good point. Let's go, Bruce. Sorry, cat lady. Or maybe... You could stay? Oh no! Harley gave me an assignment, and I mean to fulfill it. Uh, John, could you give us a moment? Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, gotcha! Something. Charming and unnerving at the same time. So, now that we have a moment, care to fill me in? Care to tell me the real reason you're doing this? Out with it, Bruce. What's going on? I'm undercover. For yourself? <laughs> Isn't Bruce Wayne kind of always undercover? Or is it the other way around? No, yes, I'm undercover working with a group called the Agency. Partnered up with people, huh? Good to hear you've grown a bit. Sorry if I was a little rattled at the clubhouse back there. Wasn't quite ready to see your face again, but... You look good. Even with what looks like a piercing gone wrong. Not great or anything. But... good. You look great too. I didn't say great. I said good. Okay, duly noted. Now it's my turn. Why are you here? You're not really in bed with this... pact. And what if I am? Maybe I need the money. Maybe I don't. Who knows? The world's a complicated place. You're better than that. You keep saying that. You're like a broken record. To get a move on. Playing guard is getting pretty boring. Just another minute. We've got it under control, John. Fine. But we've got a job to do, remember? Let's just see what this is all about. Something nearby we can use. Didn't Riddler carry one of these in Europe? He did, but they were purely aesthetic. USB drive. It might be a trap. Maybe. But we already made it past the line of security, so... Maybe not. Your certainty is assuring. Here we go. Decryptor detected. Accessing Sanctus Project Lotus files. Project Lotus. Sanctus. 
Retinal scan required. Shit. I haven't made the goggles yet. Retinal scan. Time out. Hephaestus protocol enacted. The decryptor! You know what Sanctus is, don't you? I heard stories on jobs. Best I can piece together, their group up to... No good is generous. They're scary. Great. One thing's for sure. We're not getting any more info off that thing. Well, there's always Riddler's laptop. Harley still has it. The decryptor probably works with that as well. Everything okay down there? Send the lift back up. I should have come back sooner and reeled Riddler in, but I didn't. Knowing he was tangled up with Sanctus, and what he did to Lucius. This is my fault. My mess to clean up. By yourself? I can help. Why? Do I look like I need your help? You don't have the code to do what needs to be done here, Bruce. You want to do this your way? You'll have to beat me to it. Doing. Balancing the scales. You are not leaving here with that. Oh, honey. I'm already gone. Resourceful as always. You haven't gotten past me yet. Slow down a bit. You're coming out blurry. Skilled you are with your hands. <laughs> An awfully bold move considering we just met, Mr. Wayne. This is flirty. Move, John. for myself, and I'm finishing this my way. <clears throat> Harley's laptop, huh? You and I, we're going to talk. Somewhere else. So, John, about the laptop, um... You know, I'm the first guy who resort to stealing from anyone, anyone but her. But in a way, that almost makes it more enticing. 
But another way, maybe I tell her, get in her good graces. Maybe I will, and maybe I'll do just that. Then she'd remember my name has an H in it. She always spells it J-O-N. And how do you think Harley feels about snitches? She told me to snitch. I think she likes them. Well, maybe not. I don't know, Bruce. I'm torn here. Just thinking about her makes me feel like I'm floating. She's the most intriguing creature ever to grace me with a demeaning insult. Which is great, don't, don't get me wrong. I, I, I want more, Bruce. Like you and Catwoman. I'm only a little ashamed to say that dance had my pulse pounding. What's your relationship with her? Your real one? I guess you could say she's my Harley. I'm not sure she's good for me, but I just can't seem to get away from her. You stop right there, Bruce Wayne. I'm tearing up. Look at this couple of weeping willies over here. <laughs> Drowning our sorrows in caffeine and sugar. <sighs> if only Harley saw me. Like, really saw me. The world's a crazy place, isn't it? I want Harley. You want the laptop. Maybe we can come to an arrangement. I help you with Harley. <laughs> I see. You're up to bat then, Wayne. What did you do to make Catwoman purr? How can I get that with Harley? You just need to be genuine. You're special, John. She just needs to see that. So, be myself. I hear that a lot, but how can I be myself if I don't really know who that is yet? How did you know who you are, Bruce? To be honest, I, I don't. No one does. People lie to themselves about their true nature. Uh, so maybe I'm lying to myself. That would explain something I've noticed recently. I can feel someone a few layers deep, pacing like an animal in a cage, just looking for something to start it. The prison break. Hey, that's who you really are? You shouldn't suppress it. But I, I'm quite scrambled. Hey, that's what I like about you. And I bet that's what Harley will like, too. How does that even work? Bond with her. Lend a hand with a problem she has. I don't know, Bruce. I have a tough time just talking to her. Oh, I've got an idea. Let's play pretend. Uh, what? You be Harley. Say something Harley would say. Bane is such a loser. Yeah? What are you gonna do to him? Snuff out his light. I don't know what she would say. <laughs> I'd kill for some front row seats to that! Okay, now say something, uh, date-like. Like we're out painting the town red. Hi, John. I like hiking. Do you like the outdoors? Boys, love me! What do you think? Pretty good, right? Okay, so you're coming off just a little bit desperate. And women like that. No, none. Okay, hit me. Another. What was your favorite thing about Arkham Puddin'? For me, it was Sloppy Joe Fridays. Bruce! This is just uncanny. Okay, okay, here we go. I enjoyed the lights. They had a hum to them. Felt like a blanket. Fuzzy, even. I miss that on the outside. It, it doesn't feel as real here, you know? Out here, chaos seems to rule the day. It's loud and uneven. But you, Harley, you thrive on it. 
I could learn from that because I thrive on you. You're my light outside of Arkham. It's beautiful, John. She'll be eating out of your hand in no time. Y you think? I, I don't know. It, it felt weird to say. I really think I'm getting the hang of this. I'll start the next one. Your face has all the adequate face-like qualities one looks for in, uh, in a face. Harley, I lobbed you a perfect pitch. You gonna swing or what? John, sorry, something just came up. Uh, it's business. I have to run. So soon? It's, it's fine. A for effort, Bruce. I guess I won't go tattling to Harley. So, will you help me get the laptop? Gosh, Bruce. Our talk really got me fired up to find myself. My true self. Plus, your Harley is spot on. Oh, you drive a hard bargain, mister. Wait. Jeez. <laughs> okay, let me mull over the logistics. But I'm in. Meet me back at the subway when you're done with your business. And because we're pals, coffee's on my dime. Bruce? Expecting Waller. Sorry to disappoint. So, what happened? Where were you? What do you mean? The agency convoy? All those freaks were in one place and you decide not to show? Well, I didn't like you. They don't take time off. So what kept you? Waller ordered me to stand down. You're kidding! That nerve on her! I guess I can't really talk. We got there late. But then it was just Bane. He still beat us to a pulp and got away. Is that all? Uh, no. No, I... I got a favor to ask. Lucius Fox. I know Riddler tried to pin his death on you, but I had to ask myself, why would Riddler be so hell-bent on killing him in the first place? Did Fox have some kind of deal with him? Uh, there's more going on here. I know it. Maybe this Fox guy wasn't such an angel. Know what I mean? Not entirely. I knew Lucius Fox for years, Gordon. The man was a saint. On the surface, maybe. There's more to the story. Riddler targeted him for a reason. Waller shut down any investigation into the circumstances surrounding his death. And that means something stinks in Denmark. He could follow that stench all the way to Fox's employer. Look. Just how much do you really know about Bruce Wayne? I see where you're going with this, but you're on the wrong trail. Bruce Wayne is helping you. Uh, well, if he's helping us, he has a real funny way of doing it. At first, I thought Fox was at the center of it all. But there's a hell of a lot more. A Wayne Enterprises security guard comes to GCPD, saying he was assaulted by Harley Quinn and her gang. And who was leading her around like a pet? Bruce Wayne. Then I checked the video recordings. 
Someone did an amateur job covering up the security footage. Files were replaced, time unaccounted for, sloppy. And strike three? One of my officers gets bashed in the head while he goes into Riddler's old workshop. Bruce Wayne is dirty and he's dangerous. Waller knows all of this happened too, and she refuses to let me move on it. So I need you to bring him in. That's the favor. I can't do it, but you can. I can keep an eye on Bruce Wayne. Damn it, I'm not asking for an eye. I want him delivered, here, with a little bow. God, some safety is slipping out from under me and I can't stand it. I know your friend Catwoman's in town. I've got a rap sheet that'll put her away for life. Maybe I can't move on Bruce Wayne, but I can move on her. I should have done this a year ago. I can't ask you to break the law, Jen. Uh, don't make me laugh. As soon as I get back to the office, I'm sending out a task force after her. And you, you better not tell her we're coming. It sounds like he's on a warpath. If I warn Selena and she gets away, Gordon and the police will blame me. But if I don't, I put her in danger. Don't forget that you're both after that laptop. Gordon might be your best chance to slow her down. Unfortunately, we're running out of time. Damn it. Gordon has gone too far this time. I can't help but have sympathy for a man trying to do what is just. He feels as if Gotham is slipping out of control. And it is. You know, Miss Kyle is going to run sooner or later. It's her nature. How much can you really trust her as an ally? I know how you feel about her. Make certain you aren't letting that cloud your judgment. We both want to take down the pact. That I know for certain. Allies are in short supply these days. I know you've worked together in the past, but... Circumstances are different. You know what must be done. It's done up. I hope Gordon doesn't take it personally. I'm afraid he will. Don't go, Gordon. I've got a city to say. <laughs> Please, Jim. You have to let me in. I can't, Batman. It's too much. I'm the best friend you have in spandex or whatever my suit is. What if I grew a mustache for you? Batman! Hi! Hello! So, uh, John. My name's John. John Doe. You don't know me. Well, we actually did cross paths once, but, uh... What did you overhear? I, I didn't hear anything. I just got here, I swear. Oh, this is just... What a pleasure! It's so nice to finally meet you! Nice to meet you, John. Wow, quite a grip you've got there. You must squeeze a stress ball a lot. I've been waiting over a year for that moment. I'm just such a huge fan of yours! And here you are, in the flesh! <laughs> I'm looking for mentors, role models. I've come across a few good candidates. You're, you're Batman. <laughs> I don't take on students. Now hold on, before you accept, here's what I bring to the table. I can get you Riddler's laptop. All his secrets, right there. And the gang who attacked the convoy, they need it to pull off a big score. The point. So what if I steal it from Harley Quinn, no less, and give it to you? But, uh, and, and, this, is, and this is a big but. I need you to promise nothing bad will happen to Harley. I mean, letting 
One criminal slip through the cracks every once in a while can't be the worst thing. That depends on what she does. If she hurts innocents, then I stop her. Well, that's... you really... This is what dedication looks like, huh? But if I get the laptop, uh, there is no score, so win-win. Now, when you're on the job, what's the preferred method of extracting a target? Always repelling in, or explosives as a distraction, or... You know what? I'll wing it. If I were you, I'd get a friend to help. That's a great idea! I hope Bruce is there. He'd do anything for me. Oh, one last thing! <laughs> I collect these. They mean a lot to me. What? What the? No pictures. Laptop behind the stack deck. Well, I hope you weren't counting on a specific time because, you know, that's what I use my phone for. You speak, but all I hear are lies! You dishonor yourself, Timothy. If you are the rat, then wear it proud! I would have respect for that, and with respect comes mercy. Greetings, Wayne. Come with me. As a fellow apostle of technology, I thought you might appreciate this. Vane and I were acquiring components for a device I'll need once we get to the black site. Device? Yes, an ice explosive for the fire failsafe we anticipate encountering. That isn't the impressive detail. As we ran into interference, I determined I would be more efficient if I made smaller versions and employed them as projectiles. Who were they? Hindrances. As you can see, it's been wildly successful. Impressive science freeze. You'll notice I don't do anything ineffectually, Mr. Wayne. Hear that, Freeze? Wayne is cut out for this life after all, huh? <laughs> yes, I thought as much after he took a pipe to one of my boys. <laughs> one more time, my friend. Why did an alarm go off when it was your job to ensure it didn't? Bane, come on. I, I slipped up. Dangerous time to make a mistake when you knew I was looking for a more. You're trying to slow us down! No! Look, I want to get paid, just like you! I got mouths to feed! Then, when the police arrived, you were nowhere to be found! I... You know I'm no traitor! I stood up for you, remember? Come on, man. We have to stand together on this. Just think... Remember? Yeah, sure. Pretty bold move. Good, yeah, yeah. Now, now, why why would I do that if I was dirty? I'd have thrown you to the walls to cover my ass, right? Oh, a deft turn. But it's not enough to save you. In fact, your awareness of how to deceive only creates more suspicion. What the hell is going no, no, on here? No, 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 no! Merely plugging their leak. God damn it, Bane. You running your own investigation? You gonna get little business cards printed that say Detective Bane now? Why are you complaining? I didn't get a chance to grill the guy. I'm a trained psychiatrist. What are you? 
A side of beef with a hunch. I'll find the rat, and I'll deal with it. You can't be trusted to run your men anymore. They're mine now. Got Yours? it? Yours? <laughs> I freed them from Santa Prisca! You just killed one. I only shot him. <laughs> Who do you think wins that recruitment war? <laughs> they won't follow you. What do you want, John? Right. The, the laptop. This seems like the perfect time. You don't know for sure it was him, so now what? They know the cost. I value loyalty above all else. You know who's gonna have a tough time being loyal now? That guy. Just keep her busy. I have to sneak into her office to get it. And uh, it's all yours. Yep. Getting it for my old buddy Bruce. And only you. Promise. Sound like a plan. Up top. Yes, that was a good one. Hey, you two. What's going on with you guys? Harley, what a surprise. You guys get me a black site location or not? The answer had better be yes, Harley. We didn't find the location to the black site yet, but we did uncover the code name for whatever you're after. Project Lotus, ring any bells? And what is Project Lotus? What do you want? Shouldn't you be informing your men they work for me now? You? You can't even keep these two from colluding. Couldn't? Are you kidding me? He's loyal to a fault. I'm loyal, Harley. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Because I want to be. Because I'm being myself. The mole, Bane's men, you maybe, possibly, potentially can't handle it alone. You have a problem, and I want to help! You, time out! And you, we need to talk. Here's one of my favorite toys. Helps me make boring things into pretty things. Can you be a smart guy and guess another one of my favorite toys? Come on, you can do it. You mean your hammer? <laughs> Good guess, but no, it's John. You two are getting a little too close for comfort. So I'm making a new rule. Hands off. Point is, John's mine, and mine alone. So don't play with my toys, or I'll bash in that pretty face of yours. Alfred, get a suit ready for drop-off. Of course. Was your accomplice successful? Apparently not. What happened? Catwoman got here first. I was hoping you'd catch up to me. I hadn't had a chance to thank you for tipping me off about the GCPD. I didn't expect it. You really saved my ass. If it wasn't for you, the cops would have gotten the drop on me for sure. You should have expected I would. I've helped you before. And it surprises me every time. Now I need you to help me. The laptop. I need you to hand it over. You proved your point. Quite the coincidence that we find ourselves here again. What do you mean, again? 
We're on top of the mayor's old office. Harvey's old office. Feels like a hundred years ago, doesn't it? Since we had our first chase. So much has happened since then. You're stalling. Give me the laptop. Is that really the only reason you came here? You want it? Take it. You didn't think it'd be that easy, did you? Oh, come on. That was fun. I'd bring out that wild side of yours. The one you like to keep stuffed down in that suit. The side of you that's just... aching to break free. Yeah, it's a little crazy. But isn't that what you like about me? We both like to live on the edge. It's where we find each other. Maybe it is. Maybe you're just my kind of crazy. And maybe you're mine. Well, have a good night. Selena. Why'd you do it? Run off at Riddler's like that? I wanted to get payback for Riddler. On my own terms. For what they did to him. For what he did to you. And just, what are you offering me in return? You're a man of many resources. Make me an offer I can't refuse. Okay, Selena. I'll give you what you want. And what is it you think I want? Something meaningful. With someone who has your back. I've had you already. But who knows? I might be up for a repeat performance. Just promise to work with me. I'll stop playing games. We've had our fun, haven't we? And it seemed like, for a moment at least, you wanted more than that. I came back to stop Harley's so-called pact. The Eddie I knew would have wanted that. Anything else? Us? That's just icing on the cake. No pressure, really. Hey! We all have our blind spots. Guess you're mine. So, I'd say it's time to find a black sight, partner. We'll probably need our own supercomputer to get into his laptop. But something tells me you might know where to find one. Come home with me. What's at home? You'll see.
I thought I'd seen it all when I found you hanging with the sewer rats, Bruce. This place. It's really you. Rich men and their toys. Only thing missing is a wet bar. Make yourself comfortable. I'll try. This place, it's not exactly... cozy. I know how hard it is to let people in. The fact that you've done that... It means a lot to me, Bruce. I didn't give a damn about anyone else until I met you. You're a bad influence on me. Do you really mean that? Don't let it go to your head. It... Being here with you. I came back to Gotham for a little redemption, but I didn't expect to find it next to you. It's nice. The way I feel around you, like... Like I can be better. Do you maybe... Feel the same? I'm gonna kiss you now. that thought. Is that what I think it is? What is my stuff doing on display in your cave? Alongside mementos of the psychopaths you've locked up? Not that you're normal by any stretch of the imagination, but... Uh, and there I am. Right next to Harvey Dent. This has got to be good. I keep items from friends and foes. Reminders. Never took you for the sentimental type. I keep a memento from each of my cases. Uh, did you want them back? Hold on to them. They look kind of nice there. for two is served. Alfred, thank you. Decryptor detected. Accessing Sanctus Project Lotus files. Retinal scan required. Let's try this again. Bruce, whenever you have a moment, I have something to show you. The back computer will scan for viruses and other safeguards before we can have access to the data. Over 600 horsepower. Selena. So, what do you think? There's a lot of interesting tech down here. How you did it all, I'll never know. And it's more hospitable than the abandoned subway those maniacs call home. But just barely.
I finished up a new feature for your contacts. Lucius nearly completed it before. Uh, well, I've been fiddling with it to keep myself occupied. Uh, at any rate, your contacts now have the capability to detect heat signatures. Cold, too, because uh, with Mr. Freeze, you never know. Thanks. I'm sure it'll come in handy. I'm impressed you felt close enough to someone to welcome them into the Batcave. But I'm curious to know why. What is it about her? Not that I'm judging, mind you. Difficult to take it back at this point. But, um, well, maybe you should keep an eye on the more valuable items down here. She's important to me. I thought as much. Good for you, Bruce. This is a big step. It's done. Sounds like the laptop is safe. I shall be upstairs if you need me. Good luck. Look at all this data. Finally, something we can read. Let's see what he knew. Patient 843. 10 milligram injection at 0.01% solution. <laughs> Patient 844. 10 milligram injection of 0.015% solution. God, what is that? Human test subjects? We have to find what they were giving those test subjects. of the black side. His obsession with data left us an incredibly thorough paper trail. Look at these manifests. Bodhi Spa. Strange place for a delivery of virus incubators. This must be what Riddler means by hiding in plain sight. A biological weapon. This is what Harley wants. Agency. The Agency. Don't you work with them? Amanda Waller. She runs the Agency. Sounds like you owe her a phone call. Bruce. To what do I owe the pleasure of this call? The Agency was working on a virus with human test subjects. Bruce? What on earth? I just saw it with my own eyes. How do you... Is that what Quinn's after? Yes. I found the black site. Hiding in the middle of Gotham at the Bodhi Spa. Okay. Okay. I promise we'll get to the bottom of this. But I need you to trust me. Meet me at Wayne Tower in 15. I'll tell you what I know. 
Harley was asking if the goggles are ready. I'll go back to the subway, see if I can keep her busy. Thanks, Selena. Benefits of partners. Be safe, Bats. You too. Tiffany, what are you doing here? Running late today? I expected you earlier. I needed to talk to you, but you only have yourself to blame for this. Hands behind your back! On the floor, now! On the floor! Get down now! Bruce Wayne, you're under arrest for armed robbery, murder, and criminal conspiracy to commit a terrorist act. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. Uh, thanks for the call, Miss Fox. You've done a good thing today. I look to you for answers, for comfort after my father's death. Instead, you're running with a new crowd. Criminals? I hope you understand why I had to do this. It makes me question everything you've told me my entire life. It wasn't easy, but it had to be done. Why didn't you just talk to me, Tiffany? I tried. Every time I saw you, you were with those freaks. What in the... Director Waller? Uncuff Mr. Wayne right now, or you'll spend the rest of your life as a meter maid. Mr. Wayne is under agency protection, and you know it. What? You've known it for some time. Waller and the agency? They're not always going to be around to save you, Wayne. One day, you're going to run out of favors to call in. And when you do, there'll be hell to pay. I'm not a criminal, Gordon. Save Officers, it. please. I... He's involved. He belongs in a cell. This is neither your concern or your purview. Go home, Gordon. You're done here. The hell I will! If I were you, I'd be very careful with my next words. And if I were you, I'd stop interfering with GCPD business. This is my city! Not anymore. You're so far out of line, you can't see the truth. You're dismissed. Excuse me? You tested me. This is what happens. Damn it, Waller! You can't do this! It's well within my power and you know it. Waller! I said... Don't do dismissed. this! ...dismissed. I hope you're happy, Bruce. You took away my best shot at making a difference in this place. No. You did that to yourself. Time to go, Jim. We'll make sure Gordon leaves, and be right outside. When you're ready. I apologize for everything. Calling the cops was a bit much. Well, you wanted a chance to talk to me, so here it is. Talk. I just don't understand how you got tied up in all this. The agency? If I had known you were... What are you doing with them? Please, just tell me, Bruce. Look, Tiffany, I'm an undercover operative. What I'm doing... It's dangerous. Thank you for telling me. I see now, though. This is why he's dead. He was involved in whatever you're doing. This work you're doing seems incredibly dangerous. But there's something I don't get. Why you? I mean, no offense, but... I'm Batman. You're Batman. The Batman. Come on. 
Got something to show you. Hey, Bruce. Wanted to show you a preview of your new bat suit. I know you and Alfred are still on your well-deserved retreat, but I couldn't help myself. I'm dead. I'll upload the specs to your private server. All right. Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. I'll see you soon. That's what he meant. That was the mission. Your father had an amazing, brilliant mind. And I have a feeling you were just as capable. Yeah. And to think I gave him lip for missing dinner sometimes. With Dad gone... Maybe I can still help. If Batman is interested. It's the least I can do. And I know my dad would be proud. You'll need the proper training. It's a dangerous job. Whatever it takes, I'm in. That's good to hear. Okay, I need to digest. Sorry for everything earlier, but thank you for trusting me with this. I'm only saying we might be pushing him too hard. He's capable, and he knows how to cover his tracks. Our only path forward is through Wayne. <clears throat> oh, let's get to it, then. I know you have some questions. A few. Care to explain why the videos I saw said this virus was an agency experiment? Years ago, I was brought in to rectify the agency's past mistakes. Or failing that to cover them up. One mess in particular dealt with Black Ops experiments. Human subjects. The kind of amoral science that makes your skin crawl. Sanctus. They were a division that was shut down for good, long before either of us joined. But evidently, they went underground. This is our worst-case scenario. With Sanctus off the leash, this research poses a global threat. If I'd known where they set up their den, I would have taken them out years ago. If you want them taken out, now's your chance. We know right where they are. It's not that simple. Sanctus was dangerous then. They're certainly worse now. This whole situation, it's given me an idea. I can't put an agent within a thousand yards of that place without them starting a war or blowing up the entire block just to cover their tracks. We know it's tricky, but leading Harley and her gang into Sanctus might allow the two problems to take care of themselves. They have Riddler's info. They have a way in. And you're undercover with them. At least with Sanctus and the pact at each other's throats, the agency can act quickly, clean up, and minimize casualties. It's unorthodox, but a strike like this will keep damage from spilling onto Gotham streets. Makes sense. Why endanger anyone else when I have my own personal wrecking crew? My thoughts, exactly. Look, for now, just go and check this place out. Right now, as yourself. You don't want them to know Batman is on their tail. I bet you're the type of guy who has some expensive surveillance equipment. We have your back, Bruce. We'll be right behind you. Keep me in the loop so I know what my team and I might be facing when it goes down. Defenses, security, whatever. Their lives are in your hands, Bruce. As well as the fate of this city. I know you might have reservations about working with Harley and her crew like this. Sometimes you have to use bad people to do good things. I think so. While you were at the office, I did some basic online research on the Bodhi Spa. Excellent. What's the verdict? According to reviews, it truly seems to be a fully functioning business. Uh, not just a front. Couldn't tell from the service entrance. They offer rather popular high-end massages and have an active social media feed. It's a 24-hour business, Bruce. There are customers going in and out at all times. 
have no idea what's coming for them. There's no way to tell until I get in there. I'll proceed with caution. Initiate the feed of my contacts to Waller. Let her know I'm here. At once. I need to see what we're up against. Good idea. Remember, you're able to toggle the thermal imaging in your lenses. I'm signing off while you speak with Director Waller. Be careful. Thanks, Al. Waller? On the line, Bruce. I'm here. I'll let you know if I find anything interesting. Caution is key, Bruce. This situation is a spark away from a wildfire. I'll keep that in mind. That access door is connected to the spa. Looks like we have a receptionist behind the front desk. She's hardly anything to worry about. All too easy to hide a gun under that desk. That appears to just be a patron. Stairs. The real lab must be underground. Sanctus has been in the middle of Gotham this entire time. They burrow under your skin and eat you from the inside out. This is why I'm willing to let these criminals be the tip of the spear. Dangerous and expendable. My favorite adjectives. see a security panel inside the building. It could trigger an alarm system of some kind. If I can hit that before they suspect what I'm really here for. They'll be blind and helpless. Perfect for my people. You just saved a few agents' lives, Bruce. That's some top-notch field work, Bruce. I know being undercover's been tough, but you just need to maintain it a little longer. If you don't get inside with those maniacs, we're going to have a pandemic on our hands. Waller, I need to go. Now why would a billionaire be skulking around in a filthy alley? Carefully inspecting every detail. Almost as if performing reconnaissance. I could ask you the same. Oh, I'm not skulking. I have a very deliberate purpose. My Bane, have you been spying on me? Spying? No. I've only been keeping an eye on you. That's the same thing. I heard the GCPD paid you a visit at your office, so I swung by to see if you might be in need of some aid. Innocent as that. Then, something about the look on your face as you left. So, determined. Yes. I had a sense you would lead me to something interesting. Project Lotus. This is the secret you and Harley had. Where are we, Bruce? What is this place? And do your best, to be honest. <laughs> this is Harley's secret to get, not mine. Secret? A fourth grader could piece this together. Project Lotus is what we're after. And this is it. Finding you in this duplicitous position while we have a mole problem. Well, it does not look good for you, my friend. When you wake up, you can tell Harley that you led me right to her conspiracy. 
wake up. Rise and shine. you're about to face, Wayne. You had so much going for you, Bruce. But trying to hide your discovery from me... Well... Harley wanted to spearhead the hunt for the mole. This will be her chance. So, be thoughtful with your words in there. They could be your last. Thanks for the warning. I'll be careful. I hope it's not you, Wayne. But if it is, I'll kill everyone who shows up for your funeral. What is it now, Bane? The rat has been uncovered. Wayne was right under your nose. I tracked Wayne to the location of the black site. He had I a... sent Wayne to scout it, so lower your damn voice. It was the final piece of the puzzle, and now we got it. Go get your boys ready. We move on the site ASAP. And don't worry your pretty little head about our rat problem. I got it covered. And Bane, tell Freeze to get one of them popsicle makers ready. You're not going anywhere. You're in here. With me. Thanks for backing me up. Don't mention it. Can't have him stepping on my turf, you know? I said I'd find the rats. And I will. Your father. He was a hard man, right? Someone lied to him. Betrayed him. He ended them. Think he was onto something with that idea? Show no mercy? Take no apologies? You need to keep your people in line. Sometimes that means making hard choices. <laughs> such a pretty way of saying killing a person. I hadn't taken you for such a ruthless fella. You are who I think you are, Bruce. Who do you think I am? A man out to prove to the underworld he's just as bad as his dear departed dad. Or there are more to the story I should know. Hidden depths? Secrets you don't want me to see. Oh, come on. I'm more than just that. We all have more to us, Bruce. You're not telling me anything I didn't already know. Did you forget I used to be a doctor? Went to doctor in school and everything. All for my dad. You got some of the same shades as him. Deep to drown, to the dark to drown. He used to sing that to me. My dad. Made me feel safe, like nothing could hurt me. So, where's your dad now? Sounds like he's a great guy. Same place as yours. Feeding the worms of Gotham. Same place we'll all be someday. In fact, you being like my dad, that's why I got such a soft spot for you. Oh, you do? You found me the black site, didn't you? Plus, you're not a bad guy. I mean, you're rotten like the rest of us. But, you actually care for some people. Like that girl. What's her face, uh... Brittany? No. Tiffany. You remember? Early 20s, fresh-faced and optimistic. Are you threatening her? Oh, take it down a notch, Wayne. Your friend is safe. It's your job to keep her that way. 
Yeah, friends are great. Except when you have to lose them. Laptop's gone. What are you? Yeah, Shaka. We have a turncoat. I've interviewed just about everyone in the place. Except maybe one. Or two. So gosh, that only leaves the two people I haven't cleared. You and Catwoman. Maybe it was the guy who Bane gave the hamburger face. But weirdest thing, the laptop went missing after that. When you cleared John? Yes, I cleared John. You think that guy's capable of lying to me? I mean, if only he would. That'd show a little spine. But if you really want to, you can ask him yourself. John, get in here! When I told Puddin I narrowed it down to you two, he begged me to let him interrogate you. I gave him some pointers, and now this is his chance. Hi, Bruce. You potential rat. Have at it, John. Harley, uh, do you mind? Can't learn to ride with training wheels on forever, you know? I'll be right outside. Admit it, you rat scum! You're the... the rat! <clears throat> Sorry, I have to make it sound good. Do it again. What? Hit me again. Take... <clears throat> you hitting him already. I'll let it play. I never wanted it to come to this. But we both know what has to be done. Catwoman has to take the fall. Think about it, Bruce. Harley's gonna kill that Tiffany girl if it's you. And who knows if she'll stop there. There is no scenario where we are letting that happen. I knew that'd be your knee-jerk reaction, but... This is the only way out. The only way that keeps you alive. Did you even stick up for me? I tried, Bruce. I really did. I said it loud and clear. I internally. You know, Harley, she's not a mind reader. I'm sorry. I'm not as strong as you. Well, I'll get through this, Bruce, but... I don't see a lot of options that end too great for you. It's either you or her. What do you want to do, Bruce? She knows it was one of you two. She knows. I gotta guess it was Catwoman. I went to the safe, but it was already gone. And you were right there talking to Harley, so... I know you care about her, but... Yeah. All right, time's up. Perfect. Because I'm done. You got a confession? Great job, Puddin. Who are we hanging out to dry? Go ahead, Bruce. Tell her what you told me. Come on. Go ahead, Bruce. It's okay. It was me, Harley. I took it. You were just starting to get under my skin. Too bad. I guess I do have to hurt Tiffany after all. And you, of course. I knew you had it in you, John. We are gonna do terrible things together. Like, send this one to the great icebox in the sky. Get him inside. You can let the cats out of the bag. Bruce! Bruce is in deep trouble. Harley, be reasonable! <laughs> Why would I start now? I can help. 
You need me. Yeah. Once you're an ice cube, I can use you to keep the vodka cold. Wait! Harley, as great as this is as a punishment, not Bruce. You can't. He's... He's, he's my best friend. Aw, Puddin. That's sweet. So... Maybe we can let him go? Live, at least? Nah. Be sure to send Tiffany a postcard from Antarctica.